All right, so there's the pond, there's the golf course. I usually come in from the other side through the front door, but we're gonna take you on a real cool facilities tour, but we're coming from a different angle. So let's go this way. Now, when I first got the building, we were taking half the building, 20,000 square feet, and then we outgrew that instantly, and then we took the other 20,000 square feet. So the building itself is 40,000 square feet, and it's right on the 24.99, right when you enter Flower Mound, Texas. It's a beautiful thing. Texas, baby. Ooh, man. And you saw the new shirt right there. You got the Texas flag, you got the American flag. We got the nice gray on black colors looking sharp over here. We're selling these on the store, so keep your eyes out. Right when you walk in, you already know we got huge space. And uh, trust me, we got some surprises in store. We got some monster machines, new monster machines that are gonna be coming in. But check this out. Here is the original monster that we actually cut our door open for. This is the Ebarmia 100,000 pound beast machine. And uh, inside the Ebarmia, let's go say hi to Barry. What's up, my man? How you doing? We're all about education. We're all about teaching the trade, but not just to students. We're about teaching it to all manufacturers, giving everybody the resources that they need to actually rise to a high level and compete in this industry and make good money. And no matter where you are, you can use our curriculum to compete and put food on your own tables. Now in building this platform that is literally changing the world, one thing that I learned is I need to surround myself with amazing people and uh right here that's one of the amazing people we brought in right there what's up barry what's up man boom barry making crazy chips that cling on the floor instead of pixie dust right yeah yeah that, that's trevor's cup of tea right there little fairy dust action over here we change the world one chip at a time and one thing that i love is that all of us we all talk smack all day long and it's coming through on the cameras and uh people always say oh you're not a real machinist if you don't do this or you don't do that but if you don't talk smack and have fun doing what you do then i'd say then you're not a real machinist because machinists like getting after it and they're very proud they got crazy ocd but it's a good thing because you have to make incredible parts you can't scrap anything everything has to be absolutely perfect and when you can do that you're super proud and you do talk smack and it is actually a good thing you don't disrespect but you talk smack we do it all day long oh yeah man and it helps us build each other up you know it keeps us on our a game a game third generation machinist comes in here day in day out even have to kick them out on the weekend sometimes just programming making crazy designs and uh getting after it in this machine so we can show you guys how to compete. I'll never forget his first call. He just said, Barry, do you want to change the industry or not? I said, yes. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Now you guys see Barry on camera all the time, but I thought, you know what? Hey, what is something that they don't know about you? Yeah, so I was born and raised in Chicago. My great grandpa's shop, my grandpa's shop, my dad's shop. I have a wife and three kids. My wife is a nurse in labor and delivery. Uh, my kids are 13, 15, and 16. My son's starting to get into the SolidWorks thing, so that's pretty cool, following in dad's footsteps. Oh, man. Barry, when it comes to SolidWorks, you got pretty much every single certification imaginable, right? Yep, yep. I would say that I am decent in SolidWorks. Boom, <laughs> keep it real, man. Thanks. So good. One thing I want to say, though, is uh, it is not fair because Barry, because he's on the Barmia, he gets to play with all the big tools. Like, this is like a candy store for machinists over here. You got the HSK 100s, big old thread mills, high feed mills, big old drills, monster tools for a monster machine. Got my son over here. Check this out. We got the Hydemex saw. Tyson. Yeah, what's up? Boom, you guys know my son Tyson. Tyson actually runs our nine axis SMX 3100 and teaches the world how to run lays from small lays to big lays. He does everything and he's an absolute beast. He's actually over here cutting his own material on the height mix saw. What project you got going on now? I got a pretty cool project we're gonna be working on on the nine axis. So we're gonna cut two parts at the exact same time simultaneously. So Ooh. it's gonna be crazy. So not two parts where a tool goes over here and then this one waits and then a tool goes over here, but you're gonna be like running 
both of them at the exact same time. Hence, nine axis. That's right. Showing you know, people what you can do. Realizing it. Ooh, production, baby. Well, we'll see you over at the machine in a little bit. What's up, Trevor? Hey, what's up, boss? My man. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm good. Ooh, making some of that, uh, what is it, uh, pixie dust? <laughs> That's what Barry calls it. We got the EDM going. Now, a lot of you guys saw this whole place get framed up. You saw the sheetrock go on. You saw the whole thing come together. And now the offices are actually in use. And we not only have a additive department, we have an EDM department over here, and my man Trevor oversees both of them. Not only do we have EDM, a wire, sinker, hole popper, but we're just educating the entire industry on how amazing this technology is. And this particular project is super special to me. You guys know I have an autistic son, my son Nathaniel. He is amazing. But Trevor's actually doing a puzzle piece for autism awareness, it's gonna sink and you're not gonna see nothing and it's gonna show you the technology behind wire EDM, how you make absolutely perfect parts. So precise, it's it's awesome. You guys are gonna love it. How long have you been working there now? About a year now, coming up on a year. Is it coming up on a year? Coming up on a year, man. You moved from Washington, kind of parallel with us, then ended up working with us. How'd that all happen? When I moved from Washington, I actually took another job somewhere else, and that didn't end up working out, and Titans of CNC was hiring, so I put in an application, figured I'd take a shot. I ended up getting the opportunity, and it's been a blast ever since. I absolutely love what we're doing here. He says it's so professional. When he actually came in for the interview, it was the craziest interview of all time. We're walking around and uh, one of the machines flames, like we're always pushing the limits and flames went up during our interview. And he goes to step back and uh, I'm just saying like, what happened Trevor? So uh, as you guys know, it's a film studio. So there was a, a studio light behind me and I stepped back and I actually stumbled over the light and uh, Mr. Titan here saved my life. He reached down, he picked me oh, up. Oh, son, let's, let's bring you up to another level now. Like, And now every day he reminds me that he saved my life. Saved his <laughs> life. Trevor actually has, what, 7,000 people that follow him on Instagram. What's your tag on Instagram? So on Instagram, it's, it's Trevor underscore go forth. And what's awesome is I actually saw his Instagram page and he was trying to get a job. And I looked at the quality of work and I saw that he had experience in EDM, mold making, all of that. So we had the interview. And then after that, he's like, do I get the job? Do I get the job? And all I would do is go hashtag save your life. And then one day I called him and actually gave him the job. And he was just gonna be a CNC machinist here at first. You told me that it was a life-changing opportunity and it was gonna be the greatest opportunity that I've ever had. And uh, what did you say? So I said, man, that sounds incredible. Can you like give me a little hint as to what it might be? And he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> gotta mess with him, gotta mess with him. Sometimes you have to run off that gut instinct. I had a gut instinct about this man. And I just thought, no matter what, this technology is so insane. We're gonna have to teach whoever it is. So let's go with somebody who is a machinist that comes from a machinist family and his integrity and just him as a man just impressed me. And uh, that was probably one of the best decisions I made here in Texas because you have killed it, son. Thank you, boss. You killed appreciate it. that, man. Super I appreciate good. that. Thank yeah, you. Man. Ooh, just Happy got sincere you. right there. <laughs> yeah, man, that means a lot. So, right. hey, real quick, can you just name the machines and what exactly they do? Yeah, sure. So uh, right here, we got the Ona AV35 wire EDM. This is really precise machine. It cuts punches, cuts dies, things like that. Mold making, aerospace, all that. Uh, over here, we got the Sinker EDM. This is the Iris 6. You know, similar applications here, except for it's gonna be blind pockets instead of all the way through our part. Uh, crazy videos, awesome technology. Check it out, we got playlists on our YouTube. All the way down at the end, we got the little hole popper. So kind of a support piece of equipment, but super versatile. You can drill holes all the way through, hardened steel, carbide, all that stuff. So love this technology. You can take broken taps out as he showed yeah. in a recent video. And uh, dude, you got the biggest office in the place, 60 foot right there. You wanna show us what we got in there? Let's do it. Woohoo! Oh man, oh man! Welcome to our additive section, and uh, 
Man, this place is insane. You guys saw it. As I said, it was all framed up. You watched it all come in, and now it's fully functional. We're making some incredible parts. I was just thinking, Trevor, how about you actually go just show them what's going on in this room, and uh, boom, we'll be out of here. Right on, man. Awesome. Let's go through it. So this is our Mark Forge Metal X. This thing can print copper, 17.4, all kinds of tools, steels, even ink and L625. It's super easy to run. I absolutely love this machine. Uh, this is actually a three-step process here. So after our parts are done printing, we put it into our wash station. After that, we put it into our center furnace, fuses all that metal powder together, and then you got metal parts. So next we got our Trump True Print 2000 Beast 3D printer. This thing can print any weldable metal on earth. The last part we printed was actually in titanium and the part was designed by AI, absolutely blew my mind. The next part we print on this is gonna be our most insane print yet, so stay tuned for that. Let's go check out the laser. So right here we got our Truemark Station 5000 laser marking system. So this is a new machine for us, but it's actually capable of 3D marking. It's got the rotary axis so we can do round parts. This thing's a beast and it can do all kinds of stuff, but I actually don't want to spoil it. So we're going to move on. I got a couple more printers to show you over here. So right here we got our Mark Forged plastic printers. This is actually our Mark II system. We just finished up a print on that. And then right here, we got our X7, which is Mark Forged industrial plastic printer. And uh, this is kind of cool, because this is like a behind the scenes look. We actually got a camera right here, and it's filming a time lapse of some jaws that we're printing. We actually reinforce those jaws with fiberglass. You guys are gonna absolutely love that. Some trick work holding. I think it's gonna be really cool, so uh, stay tuned for that. Awesome, brother. Heck yeah, oh. gave him the grand tour. Trevor making it happen in the additive, doing the EDM, doing it all, subtractive, and you got additive, and we're doing all of it. I will see you later, brother. Right on, man. Boom. What was cool is this whole hallway was not even here. This was actually an office before, and we cut right through it, made the hallway, so we can go right back in here, and then you see Barry on that side. We're gonna go up, take a turn, and go to the grinding section. And I know these guys are filming right now, so this will be awesome. Some behind the scenes action. Oh man. Oh, it's Tyson. Tyson's like everywhere. What's up again? What's up, man? <laughs> Looking for an mill? Yeah, he needed a half inch TE. He used to be a lathe guy, now he's a lathe and mill guy, nine axis, making it happen. Just do it all around here. And for those that don't know, uh, check it out. Can of metal, can of metal, can of metal, can of metal. We actually have a really cool system that Barry got all set up so everything is numbered and basically we went into the Heimer tool setter and put it on that computer so you can go in there you can figure out what you want it'll tell you the number where to find it what drawer what number all that super organized and beyond end mills we actually have the shrink fit here in the Heimer tool crib we have our tool setter over here and then we have our balancer over here and then it's awesome because we got all these different drawers and then you come in here and this is where all our tool holders are. Just different sizes and different drawers. That's the Heimer tool room. It is modular, it is amazing. Keeps everything nice and clean, organized and out of the way. Oh, Travis. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Boom. So we're right outside the Heimer tool crib. And this is something cool. I haven't actually seen anybody do it like this, but we went and got some big old steel tables. Uh, Travis ordered them. He got the plastic right here. Just so people know, what type of plastic is this right here? Dashboard plastic. Dashboard plastic. It has a nice texture. So if you're actually moving things around, it doesn't actually scratch or look bad. So we put this plastic on all of our tables and it makes it look clean, makes it look nice. We were just talking and we're like, we want like an awesome place, like a car goes through a car wash. We wanna make sure the vices come out and they're semi clean, but then we wanna go under the next setup. So then we bring the vices over here. We have a cleaning station and then we store the vices on these tables. The tables are nice and heavy duty tables. Gotta take care of the work holding man. That's it, boom. What's up, Connor? Oh, what's going on, man? Oh, man. We got Connor right here on the drums, making it happen. What's up, Ben? We got Ben over there, editing, filming, all of that. And then the star, 
the man, the myth, the legend. We brought him in from Mississippi. What's up, it's Mr. Jesse Smith and uh, Jesse, took you from five axis, from machining, and dropped you into grinding, and you just are killing us, man. Making and, the industry up. That's awesome, and what, so what are we actually filming today? So today we're going through all the Grinding Academy videos. Uh, right now we're showing how to load the grinding wheel on the machine. So step-by-step -step instructions, full fundamentals, how to turn on the machine, how to use the controls, how to program, how to change out wheels, and why are we doing it? <laughs> we did like, like, there's no script here, oh. but why are we doing it? Why do you work here? What do we need to do for trades around the world? We need to lift the industry up, teach everybody coming into the trade, teach them what this trade is, inspire them so we can build manufacturing back up. Boom, bringing that stuff out because as a team, I know all my guys, like we are family and we have one dream and that is to lift up the trades, bring awareness, show all these people working in fast food, they have no idea that in these buildings there's CNC machines that are changing the world, that are making parts that affect everybody's life and without these machines, life literally stops the way we know it. All your toys are gone, your cars are gone, planes don't fly, everything in the future will be CNC machine and as just he said, this industry is the greatest industry in the world. It's crazy. Oh, I'm gonna get hyped over here, man. Jesse doing big things in the grinding world on the five axis machines, just teaching this trade. If you wanna see some of the things that he's done, go to our YouTube channel. You'll see CNC grinding, it's a playlist, and you can actually learn all about these machines and how to use the machines. And then we have a grinding academy coming out. You can go to five axis on our YouTube channel where Jesse will show you amazing five axis tool pass and then at the end he will teach you intimately how to do it and how to compete all on a high level boom love you brother all right so then we got chris over here check this out oh what's up chris hey titan how are you my man Woohoo! the man here on the S41. Actually, give me one quick second. I wanna actually come over here by the Tormach 8L lathe. Beast, have you guys seen one of these? They're so awesome, you can put them in your garage and we can make all the academy parts and all that coming up in new videos. But real quick, what I like is that when you actually go up front and you see all the DN Solution machines, formerly Doosan, right? And then you see the Barmy over here. You see the EDM. When I'm in this spot, it's like none of that exists because when I look right here, it's all about United Grinding. So I can be like right here, boom. We got the blown planner mat. We got the favorite. We got the S41 over here. And then we got the Helitronic Vision 400L from Walter. And each machine is here for a particular purpose. So we got tool grinding. We got cylindrical grinding with the EDM and all of it. This is a $1.7 million machine right here. But similar to the S41, we have a smaller version, an entry-level version that goes for about $350,000 called the Favorite. And that machine is an absolute beast. And then we got surface and profile grinding over here. So when we come out with the Grinding Academy, we're coming out with full fundamentals, and then we're gonna teach on all levels of grinding, even bringing in manual machines. Now, when you teach grinding and you come up with a Grinding Academy that's gonna teach intimately how to use these machines, you have to have experts that actually teach that grinding. And those experts, one of them, is right here. Chris Bellapondo right here. What's up, Chris? Right on, Titan, how are you? This guy stepped in his first video. He stepped on this machine and he's like, we do this, we do this and this and check out this and boom, boom, boom. And you gotta do this and boom, boom, boom. And everybody was like, because instantly they saw he had crazy talent, crazy confident. He knew exactly what he was doing. It showed on camera. The first video went over 100,000 views on YouTube and much more across platforms. Right out of the gate, just killed it. So what's up, man? I'm working on something for the grind academy. What exactly are you working on right now? I'm gonna do a shoulder grind, then I'm gonna flip the part and do another shoulder grind, a traverse sh shoulder grind. I'm gonna make those two shoulders parallel with each other within a tent. Basically turn my OD grinder into a surface grinder 
but instead of flat, we're gonna grind it up and down. Boom, and you're gonna teach every intimate detail. Every intimate detail. Everybody's gonna, anybody that gets this machine or a machine like it, they can just learn exactly how to do it. Right speeds, speeds, wheels, surface foot, all of it. Right on, yep. Just check out our grinding academy, we can get it done. Chris was at a monster aerospace company doing huge things, and then I kind of like snuck in right there, and I was like, dude, you want to change the world? You want to like help us with the Grinding Academy and like bring awareness to the trade? And you said what? Let's go, baby. Oh man, oh man. Love having you here, man. Appreciate being here. All right, brother. So uh, right around this corner, we got uh, Tyson. Let's go check out Tyson. Boom. Tyson. Hey, what's up? Tyson. Wearing many hats. You gotta get around. Yeah, that's what we do. Now, one of the cool things is Tyson. Yeah. Nine axis machine, beast machine. As we said, he's he's getting ready to run a part where two parts are running at the exact same time on this machine. The machine is crazy complicated, but you make it look easy. Yeah, yeah I, lo I love this machine. and. This is gonna be a crazy part. There's gonna be so much to have to look out for because both the turret and the spindle are gonna be moving at the exact same time. So you have to make sure that both of those aren't gonna hit each other and are gonna stay out of the way. But it's an actual thing that people do is, you know, they'll have one part running on one side. Maybe they'll have an op B running on the other side at the exact same time, so. And I will say also that Tyson's been working with me since he was 18 years old. And now you are how old? 32, 33. 33. <laughs> how could I have a Son that is 33 years old. That's crazy, hard to believe. But uh, I love you, man. You kill it every single day. And uh, I love working here too and stuck with you since then, so. That's it, loyal to the T. That's awesome in Texas. Boom, I will see you later. All right, now let's go see Travis over here. What's up, Travis? Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, oh, man? Just saw Travis over there by the vices. Travis is like operations, quality manager, lathe, extraordinaire. We've been working together since he was like, I don't want to say half the size because he's fit, <laughs> but like he was like a little kid. About half the size. Like, half the yeah, size. Yeah, less yeah. body, more hair. Dude, I love you. I love what you do here by teaching everybody about quality and the lays and then just making it happen. And I just appreciate everything you do. Brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Travis, what do you have going on right now? Well, so as you know, we have Barry's Timeless Classic, a ball in a box. This might be even a more timeless classic, perhaps a ball in a box in a ball. So crazy, and that's because you guys out there wanted to see if it was possible. So we're taking the ball in a box, as Travis said, and putting it on steroids, and uh, <laughs> that's a new video coming out. And Travis, thanks for all you do, man. Uh, thank you, my friend. Boom. Uh, all right, brother. Take care. Oh, and it's Barry again. Look at Barry. What's up? He went from a monster machine over to the DNM 5700 three axis. Still an amazing machine. It's kind of cool that you get to run different machines, different projects, keep switching it up, bring awareness to the industry, all that. What do you like? Smaller machines or bigger machines? I kind of like medium, you know? Big ones are a little bit scary sometimes. <laughs> Especially the way he runs them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother, I'll see you later. All right, bro, I'm gonna walk these guys around through the front. So over here, we got the DEM 4000, a great machine that you can run all types of materials on, and you can use it for education. You can run the academy on this machine. I know DN Solutions has an amazing deal for education, boom. And of course, we have the big old NHM. 6300. This is one of my favorite machines because it has big torque, big power. I just like horizontals. I mean, ever since I was started in the trade, I always looked at horizontals and the fixtures and the pallets and the railroads. And I thought that is machining. That is production. That's how you actually take everything to the highest level is having those railroads in place with horizontal stack. Boom, 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 running by themselves. That's automation. As you guys know too, I used to have a crazy desk. I used to have a crazy desk back in California, but it kept me off the floor and the floor is where I wanna be. So instead of having a big office, that is my office right there. I put my desk 
next to the NHM 6300, my favorite machine, and that's where I like to be. But here's the truth. I rarely ever sit in the desk because I just have fun mentoring all my guys all day long from the machinist to editing to film. Now, not only is that my favorite machine, and that's where I put my desk, but this is one of my favorite places in the entire shop because I just love these windows right here. I love seeing the golf course. I love seeing the water out there. And then we got this nice lounge area so all the employees can just chill on the leather couches. Whatever they wanna do, they can just chill right here. Sometimes our company meetings are right here and uh, sometimes they're in the conference room just depending on what we wanna talk about. But uh, let's go check out Jesse in the front. We showed a lot. When we were moving here from California, we were doing video after video showing how this place was being built. It was awesome because I got to design how all the walls were gonna get put in, where the bathrooms were gonna be, our media section, which I'll show you that. That is insane. And I just love all the windows and how the whole thing came out. So over here, we got our little five axis section from the Fanuc to the DVF 5000, DVF 8000T. The 8000T over there is a monster five axis mill that actually flips on its side and actually the table turns so it's a lathe and a five axis at the same time. This is a DVF 5000. This is where Jesse's at and Jesse is doing an awesome part right now. Let's go check him out. Oh, uh, what's up, Jesse? What's up, boss? Boom. So, Jesse actually moved down from Mississippi with his uh, beautiful wife and his uh, little boy. So, what type of material are you running right now? We got 316 stainless in. Awesome. And what are you going to be teaching? We got some drills coming up. We got an uh, awesome system from Kinemetal with the e bore boring tool. It's going to be sick, something I've never seen, and just making it super simple. Some new techniques, things that may, people may not have ever thought about on a five axis. So you're, you're bringing the part all into size, you're drilling, you're milling, and then you're setting up a boring head to basically hit tents and teaching everybody how to do it. That's right. So they can adopt the process, so they can learn from it, and they can actually use it in their own shops to compete. That's right. All of that is so you can teach the trade. That's it. Super good. All right, let's go this way. So now this is something that you guys don't really see, but you're going to because this is amazing. We got the crazy titanium chest set over here. This is kind of cool. Elon Musk's signature right there, a letter to us thanking us for our help with the Dragon Capsule. And they gave us this patch and the patch actually went to the space station. So this particular patch has been somewhere where none of us has been before. Awesome, we take a lot of pride in that. And uh, when you come over, I, wanna, I don't wanna get too close because these are uh, actual real parts but we got just crazy ink and L titanium Monel parts over here. We got the lion that I machined right here, the fixed string over here. Who knew that we were gonna actually get a plaque like this? This is the first 100,000 subscribers that we got on YouTube. And uh, it doesn't just happen though. You don't just build a YouTube channel. You have to have amazing content and you have to have an amazing team. So I showed you most of the machinists over here that are actually here today, but I wanna show you something awesome on the other end and you guys don't usually see this and that is our media team. Check this out. What's up everybody? What's up? Over here on the drums, we got Ben. What's up Ben? Boom. And we got Chris. Chris is over there working with Tyler and they're working on our grinding academy. I got Braxton over here. Connor down there. What's up, Connor? I got Corey 2.0 over there and I got Corey 1.0, meaning he was here first. An amazing team. And uh, let me see this real quick. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Brandon? And just so you guys know, Brandon, he's like my right hand over here. He helps out with like our partners. He helps out with managing the media team, the machinists, all of it. Brandon, we love you, brother. What's up? Get back. What I love about this company is we finish, we work eight to five, five o'clock hits, 
and everybody's still sitting here. And then they just relax and talk to each other because we're all friends. We love what we're doing. We love the vision, the mission, all that. And uh, I've never seen anything like it. You guys wanna see a bathroom? I know, like, weird, right? Weird, but I'm even proud of our bathroom. So we got six bathrooms. This is, and they all basically are similar to this. Ha ha. And I love it because you ha in your shop, you have to bring some of your personality out. And I grew up in Maui, Hawaii, and therefore we got the old school license plates. We got the island of Maui up here. We got some nice pictures of Hawaii, actual beaches that I grew up on. We got the nice bowl sinks with the cement countertops. Ooh, super nice. Even your bathroom has to be good, right? But you got parts, parts, parts. One of my paintings right here. This is actually the mega desk where we took a bunch of desks, put them together. I heard a story about Pixar and about how all of the creative people kind of sat next to each other so they could actually work together and learn from each other. And we kind of adapted that same thing in our shop. So we have six people here. Brandon sits on this side over here and everybody can just talk to each other. They can ask for help, they can get inspired, they can give inspiration, all of it, super awesome. And of course, we got the big eagle on the wall right there. And check this out, we got cold brew, nitro, nitro cold brew on tap, and yes, nitro cold brew increases productivity. I'm just saying, I'm saying. Dun, dun, dun. We needed a conference table in this amazing conference room and nobody could get us one. I had a lot of people that were gonna build them, but it was gonna take a long time. And I was like, this is a machine shop. So somebody in a comment said, hey, why don't you actually build your own conference table? So we did exactly that. We designed and built our own conference table. Wanna see something? You see all the guys over there? Oh man. Crazy, right? Ooh, and you see outside over there? Look out, look outside. Boom. So good, so if you're having a private meeting, you can just be like, bang, you can close it up and it's beautiful. My wife and I were in Vegas a year ago. At the same time, we were finishing up this conference room. I was gonna do a wrap in this room and then I walked past this piece of art right here, this monster photograph by Peter Lick. I fell in love with it. A lot of you guys know I walked into the trade, $9 an hour, I had no idea what machining was. It saved my life and then when I'd own my own machine shop and I was 35 years old, I'd meet a bunch of my family and I realized at that time that both my grandfathers were machinists. One out of Detroit, one out of Washington. The one out of Washington was a foreman at Boeing on the machine shop and he was in the military, he used to do all the art on the plane, so the plane had a special significance. Makes me think about family and how uh, certain things are just in your blood. Boom, so good. All right, we got one last place to visit. Let's, let's actually go through here. And then we have Travis again. Look at that. Travis is here in inspection. He's in all places. As we said, he wears many hats. This room right here is the most important room in the entire facility. You can have all the machinists, all the fancy machines and technology, but if you don't have quality, you don't have nothing. If you can't meet specifications, you will not be selling those parts and you'll be wasting your time. Isn't that right, Travis? Absolutely, 100% correct. If you can't have a part pass in here, then you're not creating anything of value for your customer. And this is an expensive trade to be in. And that's why we teach process from the bottom all the way to the top, including quality. We teach all of it. Another thing I like about this room is we have a million tools, but everything is organized and put away. And we basically have everything that a well-equipped inspection department should have right here. Now, Travis loves the lighting right here, but I'm proud to say that being from Hawaii, if you actually want to get a suntan in here, watch the lighting. Oh man. I'll turn it down a little bit. And I think this is a good place to end the video. One thing that I'll say is two years ago on May 12th, I woke up, never thought about Texas, never thought about anything. 
but I woke up and I just knew like I knew, like I knew we were supposed to go to Texas. Like God had just put that word into me and I had so much confidence. I walked down, I told my wife, I got a word that we we're gonna go to Texas. And I'm proud to say that you guys have seen through all the videos that once I got that word, we put it into action, was bold with it. We designed and showed you guys step-by-step step this facility coming to life. And I stand in this facility and I'm proud that I just walked through the shop, showed you guys what was truly valuable in this shop. And that is the people. You guys will look at the machines, but it's the people. And together as a family, as a team, we're bringing awareness, we're bringing education to the world. Boom, I am out. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of Titans of CNC. Flower Mountain, Texas, baby.